Hi, I'm Mike Kovalik from ElectroAir. I'd like to talk today about a couple of troubleshooting issues that we've run into recently that had to deal with wiring the ElectroAir system into the aircraft and specifically onto the aircraft's main bus. If you have me here, I've drawn a little simple, very simple circuit of an aircraft main bus. B plus supplying the main bus and then legs coming off of the main bus supplying different components. Components A and B are just random components. I have a 10 amp circuit here supplying our coil pack, a 2 amp switched circuit supplying the electronic ignition controller. That's the proper way to, to wire the electroair system into the main bus. Our first problem we ran into was on a Piper Arrow. The electronic ignition system would come on correctly initially, start the airplane, but after some period of time the electronic ignition would quit firing. They tried cycling the electronic ignition on and off couldn't get it to come back on. It, we changed out a couple of components and that didn't solve the issue. Once we got into the wiring of the airplane a little bit, this is what we found. We found on the 10 amp circuit, they had wired the controller and then on the 2 amp circuit, they had wired the coil pack. Again, it initially worked correctly for some period of time, but as this circuit, as this circuit breaker warmed up, it opened up. Once the controller sees that power is no longer going to the coil pack, it will no longer function until everything is shut back off and then recycled back on. As soon as they changed the breakers to the correct wiring, the, the 2 amp here, and then the 10 amp here, the electronic ignition worked correctly and they didn't have any further problems. Second airplane that we ran into with some interesting wiring problems or interesting presentation problems, the Cessna 172. Customer reported that on the electronic ignition system he would either get a very large RPM drop or they would see that the electronic ignition system wasn't working at all. Again, we swapped out a number of different components, but once we got into the wiring, we discovered that they had wired the 10 amp circuit and then they wired the 2 amp circuit in series after the 10 amp circuit, switch, and then the controller down onto that part of the circuit, and then off of the 10 amp circuit leg the coil pack. Without going into a lot of the physics as to why this circuit won't work, this circuit will not work the way it's drawn, not properly at any rate. As soon as they came back and rewired the airplane to the 10 amp circuit directly feeding the coil pack and then the 2 amp circuit feeding the controller through a switch, the electronic ignition worked correctly and the airplane flew fine. I hope this answers some questions about wiring the electroair system into an aircraft. For Electro Air, I'm Mike Kobolik. Happy flying.